What is up guys, this is Val, and I guess this isn't part of the modeling techniques kind of series. Maybe you kind of be involved, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it in the series, but it's just a tutorial on teaching you the kind of how to use the view panel, which is actually this area here. And as you can see, these, these four little options here are this is to move around, this is to move, zoom in, to zoom out, so move closer to the object, move further out. Um, rotation, so you stay in, in the actual same place, but you just rotate around that origin. And then by clicking this, opens up four panels. And in each panel, you can see um, a little label saying top, front, and right. And whenever you click in one of these um, kind of panels, this kind of white line comes around. This means it's the active panel or the active area or whatever you want to call it. Um, or I think, no, it's actually called active view. That's that's what it's called, the, the proper name. Um, you can always go into your, uh, they've taken on R12, you can actually double click in the area to get back in. But then it's not working for me in R13. So if you click the this one, it'll take you to, to that area, make make a full screen. That will take you back to the normal one. So this is perspective view. So this is actually a 3D space, uh, whereas the other ones are in 2D space. Uh, yeah. So if you click on panel, you can actually change the arrangements. So you can go panel arrangement, and then you can you know do four views side by side so it creates different if you're if you want to keep them all open at the same time but concentrate on one actual panel you have the option to do that but you can also see what's going and then going on in the other panels the standard one is this one four views um sorry i just have a dry dry throat um Click back on the panel, and you can also have you know two views stacked. So this is going to be perspective and top, and you can always even change the which panel is going to be which pa which uh, area is going to be included. Um, so let's just put back on the standard one, um, and to get quickly in between. So if you're on this this one here, to get quickly to the other one, instead of going here then here, you can always just go panel view four and it takes you to the view four which is one two three four so front um yeah so that's kind of pretty easy to understand that kind of stuff so and a, a different way and the way of choosing which which panel is which area well no which panel is which um view you go into cameras and you can choose here left so this is the left side right uh where's our right side top front and if you want you can change the back to the change the top to bottom as you can see change the name there let's put it back to top and this one back to perspective uh, i'm not actually sure what parallel it is Hmm. That's odd. I have no idea what parallel is. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, you can also, uh, so if you have a uh, uh, model, let's just get a model. So I think I've got a, yep, there it is. So let's just insert this chair model. Um, Go into display. Now let's put wireframe, and wireframe is a default. So as you can see, that's this is how it looks in normal view. And then actual wireframe, it's right here. So it'll appear in the these panels here. You can change the isopars or box right here or skeleton and the skeleton is a weird 
one I don't actually see how it kind of helps but I'm sure for those advanced modelers they have some use for it personally I don't um, but yeah let's go back so as you can see that's a box um, yeah so also in a, one another important area for for this kind of stuff is to, for me to explain it well um, in uh, R12 there's a little option here saying edit and you can go edit configure but it does not seem to be on R12 for some odd reason on R13 pardon sorry about that um, yeah I'm not sure why, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure why, but actually, all it does is open this kind of area here, and this lets you kind of select which objects or kind of tools are viewable in this this view panel. Um, so you can take off um, the world axes. So that kind of shows you that that, that kind of shows you what it basically does. Because without it, you don't see the X, Y, Z. But by adding it, you can see the X. Where's X? Let's find it. There, the X, the Y, and the Z. And then if you take it back off, it's not kind of it's not visible. So yeah. That's just a quick tutorial on the view, uh, kind of explaining to you what the view panel is, how you can use some of the stuff that's in it, and how, how to help your workflow uh, get faster and more efficient. So I hope you enjoyed that. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe to this channel, my tech channel. Also follow me on Behance and make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'm always on there. Um, so yeah. Let's help me try and get a hundred followers. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, goodbye.